What is good guys, it's your boy Stock J back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a quick technical analysis of Tesla. I'm going to talk about the breaking news for Tesla, some huge things that happened and why Tesla is green for the day. And also I'm going to end the video by giving you my price prediction for Tesla and my price prediction for NEO for Monday. I'm also going to talk about what happened to NEO. But before I get started guys, I have to say two quick things. First of all, I'm not a financial legal or taxation expert, so do not take this as financial legal or taxation advice. Also if you can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, but it benefits the entire community as a whole helps more people learn about tesla investments and their favorite stocks while getting updates and up-to-date data with technical analysis with that said and done guys tesla is green for the day just like i predicted i did predict tesla would close around the 708 dollar range but it did close at 711 and it did have a bit of a uh, extra 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 leg up and that's because of some news that did come out but looking at the price and chart of tesla we can see that it went up to 711 dollars and it was up 1.53 percent for the day so check out this bollinger pattern right over here we can totally see that this was not a significant change as you can see it was towards where the mean was given the chart and the future prediction for tesla it did do okay guys this was a good day but overall this wasn't a significant move is what i'm pretty much just trying to show you but that's not necessarily concerning because the future is still super 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 bright for tesla but anyways looking at the chart it has been on an upward trend and i like to say that this is a bit of a recovery compared to what happened yesterday you can see how it crashed and crashed and tested as low as the 700 level of support and that was really really horrible because of the news that happened yesterday i know I made a video about it, but overall, this was a bit of a recovery day, and Tesla did do really, really well. It did have extra support for the, the recovery day, which helped Tesla do a lot better. So here is the extra thing that happened, which helped Tesla, and that is the fact that Elon Musk, let me close that, Elon Musk wants to sell Texans electricity. And if anything, guys, it brings up how Tesla is also an energy company. So basically, Tesla has filed to become a Texas power retailer in a move that could shake up an entire already changing market. And this is absolutely amazing for Tesla because it is a energy company. It's an energy company. People don't really realize that. It's basically going to form this new subsidiary of Tesla, and it's going to be called Tesla Energy Ventures. It was filed in mid-August with public utility commissions of Tesla to sell electricity to the retail market. So this may be another reason as to why Elon Musk moved to, to, to Texas, because he may have been planning this from the start ever since what happened in Texas. And I want you guys to see something very, very interesting, and that is look at the interconnected um, power grid systems of the United States, the consecutive 48 states. So this does not count um, Alaska up here or Hawaii. These are not counted here. But looking at this, you could see that actually this, this makes it seem like um, there are two, maybe three main power grid systems. But actually, I heard that the entire U.S., where my cursor is, all of the U.S. is connected, which means even California could supply power to a state all the way over here. We have an interconnected power grid system. However, Texas, Texas right over here on the bottom, chose to not be a part of it. So overall, what happened in the year 2020 and even this, I mean, evidence of this is also shown in 2021, but it's important to know that the, the polar vortex of the United States did drop a little bit, and this may be... An indicator because of global warming i can't promise that but it may be an indicator that when global warming happened there was less global warming there were less emissions because of how so many cars were like not on the streets because of the lockdowns so overall the u.s did become a little bit colder that's, that's an indicator guys i'm not making any claims i'm just simply saying that it's possible so the polar vortex was dropped a little bit lower and that cost tesla i mean not tesla texas it cost texas to have a really 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 cold 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 time during their winter it was freezing there you guys remember what happened earlier this year at the very beginning and it was just horrible what happened to um, Texas, they lost their electricity. There was insane snowfall. I mean, people were freezing. It was horrible. However, the reason why Texas was not able to actually gain enough support during the situation is because it is not part of the interconnected um, power grid system. So Elon Musk came up with a good idea, and that is, and you could totally see this image right here. But anyways, he came up with a really, really good idea, and that is Tesla wants to sell sell electricity to texas so 
they're actually teaming up with the commission of Texas, the Public Utility Commission of Te Texas, and they want to be selling more and more electricity from a different subsidiary of their company. So as Tesla enters the space, that was really, really good for the overall stock price movement. And this also shows that Tesla could be competing with many energy companies out there, which means Tesla is not just an AI company or a car company, it's also an energy company. And there were many, many, many articles out there about it. But another big article that actually just came out yesterday night after the market closed was that Tesla sends cryptic email about accelerating Model 3 deliveries in the USA. That is possible. I can't promise that that's going to, you know, actually happen. But if anything, Tesla, their Model 3 is looking really, really good, especially with the new model that Tesla Model 3 played with over 1,020 horsepower as one possible model that which people could actually purchase. And that's really, really good for Tesla in the future because when Tesla releases the Model 3 and the new, new models come out, this will also accelerate. And if it does accelerate, that could accelerate the news and update and production of the Cybertruck, which would be even better for Tesla's stock price. So once again, there is another article said that which says Tesla wants to sell uh, power in Texas following grid failure. So this has been all over the news about Tesla wanting to sell energy, and that's huge for the company. And that makes me even more bullish for next week. So anyways, guys, I want to go over my price prediction. So for Tesla, I think Tesla is going to maybe... Uh, fluctuate around the $710 range, just like it was today, it may drop as low as $710, but overall it has lots and lots of support right over there and lots and lots of resistance around, around $715. So I do think that's going to happen to Tesla next week, but overall, considering all the good news, Tesla should have a green Monday, but it also depends on how the overall price movement of the entire market as a whole. But I do predict my prediction and take my predictions with a grain of salt. They're all just for fun, but based off technical analysis, it should move upwards because if you look at it over the past five days it did have a rundown and it has been on an upward trend this is a u-shaped recovery right over here and you can see tesla should be green by next week and maybe test uh 715 to 718 dollar range i do think that's where it's going to close by tomorrow it may go even higher but can consolidate and close around there so that would be my prediction as for neo as you guys know xpong the company xpong which is another chinese company they actually actually um, had their earnings report. When they had their earnings report, they beat their EPS by 0 0.03 cents, which is really, really good. The revenue did well, but overall, they did not meet the expectations which people actually set, which made it go slightly down, but not necessarily bad. But because Xpeng was affected by their earnings report, this also affected NEO, as NEO has fallen alongside EV stocks such as Xpeng. And because of mixed earnings report, that is not necessarily a bad thing, but overall, NEO did fall about 1.77% on Thursday. And if I bring up the price over here, we could see it fell about 0.11%. It wasn't really a bad day, but overall, lots and lots of volatility from the very, very beginning of the market before it began to settle just a little bit. And as I predicted yesterday, I predicted that NEO would close around the 38 and it closed at 38.05. So my prediction was almost perfect for yesterday. But overall, I'm not just trying to tell you that my predictions are perfect. There are going to be times where they're wrong because of the overall market, because of the way the market is. And based off technical analysis, this is exactly what we predicted because there wasn't a major, major, major piece of news that which affected NEO. So overall, the, the prediction from yesterday was correct. And I actually think I think that we're going to have a green day because NEO is down right now. But if Tesla has a big, big, big green day because of the news that came out, NEO should be green as well. So I think NEO will close around 35, uh, 3850 on Monday. That's my prediction. That's where I think NEO is going to go. And it has lots and lots and lots of um, resistance at 3840. I think we they may be able to beat it and may close around there. But overall, I still think that Monday is going to be a green day for NEO. And overall, guys, like I said in my, many of my other videos, when we look at Tesla, we see um, the price of Tesla in the long term from three months. It's been on an upward trend. And I'm still bullish for Tesla in the long term. The same with NEO. I'm still bullish for NEO in the long term. It's just that it was hit by many, many, many tough things that happened, such as the crash and obviously being a Chinese company and many other things. It has been tough on NEO, but overall, I still believe in the future of both NEO and Tesla, and I'm still bullish. These are long-term plays, and this is just one day. So 
overall guys i believe in these companies both tesla and neo i do think that they have huge and huge and huge potential and i do think that the both of them are going to be green on monday with that said and done guys thank you so much for listening i really really hope you have a great 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 weekend and i will most definitely see you on the next video peace out